This week, conflict zone is in Warsaw, where the Polish government is facing mounting criticism from the EU over its record on democracy and human rights. My guest is the Deputy Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki. Is his government ready to accept the concerns voiced by Brussels or continue to reject them out of hand? Mateusz Morawiecki, welcome to Conflict Zone. Hello, nice to be here with you. We've seen some pretty harsh language between your government and the EU over your record on democracy and human rights. Last month, your foreign minister actually referred to Donald Tusk, president of the European Council, as an icon of evil and stupidity. How do these slanging matches help your relations with the EU? I think that uh, on both sides, the language is sometimes too uh, uh, strong and, and, and sometimes uh, it does not help in uh, our relationships, but uh, also the asymmetry of perception is a very important thing. We have to um, uh, do some changes which uh, in, the, uh, in Germany was done 25 years ago, like for instance uh, the uh, communization of the former Deutsche Demokratische Republik was uh, was done in 1991, 1992. East Germany. In East Germany, and, yeah. we, and we, would like, we would like to do the same uh, here. The EU doesn't uh, seem to see it in the same terms as and, you, does and it? The I mean, EU. they've called it a systematic threat to the rule of law in Poland. This was from the European Commission. Well, that, that, that's very important, that's very interesting, because uh, when, for instance, the, um, uh, in, the, in the Czech Republic or in, in Germany, uh, there, there was this uh, vetting or verification of uh, of the past of the professors of, in the in the academia in the world of academia, this was right. When we tried to do the same in Poland, this was not right. So let's let's have the same uh, standards uh, applied for uh, all the. But countries. it seems your attitude to criticism is that you should take the you should take it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. um, Zbigniew Ziobro, your justice minister compared yeah. the EU's oversight to Nazi Germany, Nazi occupation of Poland during well, the Second I, I would, World I War. Would definitely, I would definitely advocate for, uh, for simply the, the same standards. Like, for instance, if we, if we see the uh, situation in, um, in Germany, you were able in 25 year, years ago to make You don't apologize for statements like that. Uh, well, I, I, I think that in, in, in the context of different discussions, different statements I ma are made, but uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's about uh, equal treatment of all the member states of the, of the European Union. But it's, it's also about listening mm -hmm. to the legitimate criticisms from the European Union when you have signed up to the values of if the European the Union and Alan, accepted them. If, if, the, if the criticism is legitimate, I'm, I, I'm, I'm welcoming this, this criticism because the democracy and uh, liberal economy, liberal democracy is uh, all about being open to, to, to criticism. So, so as long as you like, like it, it's fine, but if you don't no, no, like it, it's, if, il it's if illegitimate like criticism. It, if I don't like it, it's legitimate criticism uh, as well. All I, uh, I advocate for is, is also a very uh, equal treatment. Like for instance, if, if in Germany a year ago in uh, Köln, uh, the, there was there were some events which were really not uh, appearing on the surface because all the media treated this as a taboo. Uh, it was not uh, there was not criticized. This was not criticized by the uh, by the European Union or European Commission. But it was it criticized didn't. widely in Germany itself. So perhaps uh, the Commission, uh, did, perhaps long, the commission uh, didn't need weeks, to. Man, many it. weeks after many weeks after after, after it happened. But you so, accept the right of the European Union to say what it feels is going oh, on, course. and they've been pretty consistent. They've been pretty consistent in their belief that mm -hmm. the rule of law, mm -hmm. order, and democracy is under threat well, here if, in Poland. Have they just misunderstood the situation? They, they, they got it all wrong. Yes, they they, they they completely misunderstood the, the situation. The UN has not like, misunderstood instance, as well. It, let's start. Let's start with the uh, constitutional tribunal in in the in the Netherlands, in Switzerland, in Luxembourg. There is no. Uh, constitutional tribunal, and even in the Netherlands, the, there is a law which does not 
allow uh, the judges to, 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 to decide on the, on the legislation made by, um, issued by the parliament. So why, so, if this is all right, why does the outgoing president of your constitutional court say the aim of the legislation that you've introduced is to destroy the court and to create a kind is, of private council mm -hmm. for our beloved leader? This, I think he means Mr. Yeah, Kaczynski. This, this your, is very, your, Party lead. This is a very, a very interesting persona, the, the, the Mr. Zepliński, because he is, in fact, a politician. He's, he's not a, he was not only a chairman of the Constitutional Tribunal. He was a politician who mm -hmm. uh, tried to support uh, their leaders. To understand what is happening in Poland, we have to make one statement. For the first time over the last 27 years. Uh, or not for the first, but for the first time so strongly, the Vox Populi, so the, uh, a very strong voting uh, in, in favor of, of, some, of different solution, solutions ha has been made. And all the established parties, all the political establishment and economic establishment, and also judiciary establishment, which was not changed in at the beginning of 90s, they are defending the ancient regi regime. It, they it's, are one defending thing the minister, previous. it's one thing, Minister, to, to reject the criticism from a board, but your own ombudsman, who is charged under the Constitution for protecting rights and freedoms in this country, spoke of attempts to paralyze the constitutional court in Poland. So you haven't convinced him either no, and this, this, is, is a, this is a man with a pretty respectable job inside the this, Polish this state. Person, if, if, you, if you talk about Ombudsman uh, Adam, uh, Bodnar. Nogne, Adam Bodnar, yes. he, he is at the very forefront, is in the avant-garde of fighting for the previous establishment. Oh, so he's and, politically tainted. Oh, this as far is, he's, as he's completely politically tainted. So he's any, not anybody, tainted anybody even... who's against you is no, no, politically no, 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 tainted no, no, no. or misunderstanding well, like, Poland. Uh, let's, or... let, you just you reject talk... criticism. No, one by, you're all. perfect. Not at all. The state's perfect. Not at all. If you asked anybody who really understands Polish politics if, um, if Ombudsman is politically tainted or not, 99% would be. Uh, would be telling you, of course he's from the previous establishment, of course he's completely left-wing. So, uh, I, I, from such a person you cannot So, so all, all his arguments, all his arguments against the government you dismiss because they're politically tainted? Oh, not, not, not all. all, all if, if, if we talk uh, openly and if we talk Sine uh, Ira at studio, of, of course we can, uh, we can uh, understand all sorts of different criticism. I'm, I'm just uh, say, t telling uh, you that uh, to understand the situation in Poland, uh, we, one can imagine that uh, there was this uh, post-communist era frozen for 25 years, and now this uh, Sturm und Drang periode started in, in Poland, and this uh, and this is a completely different uh, approach to many uh, issues, like to, to institutions, institutions. Let's let's look, look, courts. Let's, let's, courts or, let's, let's look or at universities. let's look at let's look okay. at the court and the and the issues surrounding yeah. the court. Because um, on the one hand, you you say everything is fine with the court, but we have a tribunal, a president, tribunal president elected by what the EU considers a questionable procedure, another judge elected on a legal basis that's found to be unconstitutional, a challenge to so, the election of three sitting judges seven years after that election. So took why place. was not European Commission so loud and vocal in the summer of 2015 when uh, all the political parties uh, which were ruling back, back then were electing judges with completely in an un unlawful way. Well, they are Why, now. why, why were they, they, were they si silent? Well, they are now, but why, we are asking why they were, they were silent just one and a half years ago when such a drastic uh, bre um, breach of, 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 the, of the law ha happened. But you reject that as well. Minister, you're the net, largest net recipient of EU funds. You get a sizable sum of money. Something like 100 billion has been promised between 2014 up to 2020. You and other members in Eastern Europe were given a pretty blunt warning by the French president the other day, who said Europe isn't a cash box. It's not a self-service restaurant. A Europe where you come and take what you need, 
where you take your structural funds or get access to the internal market and then show no solidarity at all in return. French, French pres presidents are, are known sometimes for very strong uh, words. I remember Jacques Chirac in 2003. So you dismiss those as well? Uh, just bear with me for mm. two seconds. Jacques Chirac saying in 2004 that, uh, or 2003 that we lost our opportunity to be silent, we in the Central Europe. So this is not uh, equal treatment and not level playing here. Uh, but not with only regard to this uh, the last one, I, I would say uh, the, in the Treaty of Rome we had those four famous freedoms. Freedom to the, for provide services, uh, movement of uh, migrant workers, uh, movement of capital and goods. And three of them are working very, very well. Three of them which are uh, working in favor of richer countries, uh, goods, capital and, and people. Uh, and the last one, which could work very much in favor of the Central European countries, it's maybe 20% working, the freedom to provide services. So I would say that we have to really rethink what was, uh, what was not implemented you, from you, the Treaty of Rome. You're Europe. talking about a rethink. You're, you're demanding basic changes to the EU itself, your structure, its decision-making process. Your leader, Mr. Kaczynski, said he wanted to see a new EU treaty. You, Many are, people these, would these say these are a lot of these are a lot of demands. But the fact is, you're among the loudest critics. You and the Hungarians. No, no. Your your model for change is that of the self-declared illiberal democracy, Hungary, isn't it? Because last no, September, your all. last September, your party leader, Mr. Kaczynski, said, "We are learning from Viktor Orbán, the Prime Minister of Hungary. We are learning from his what is, example." What Hungary has done. Uh, they have done lots of good things to uh, bring the new balance because it was completely til tilted towards uh, selling all the assets to foreign companies and, and the ownership in Hungarian economy after 25 years of transformation was in 90% 90, 90 in hands of foreigners. So Viktor Orban is trying to bring some more balance into this. Minister, like, what Hungary has done is get itself condemned by a dozen countries last year in the UN's peer review process for, among other things, increasing hostility towards the media and civil society and intimidation and reprisals against government critics. You and, you, and you seem to like no, that no, model. No, no, no. You seem to like that I, model. I, I, I will answer in, in a following way. What's the percentage of uh, media in Poland or in Hungary, I, I don't know precisely the situation in Hungary five years ago, but in Poland, in the hands of only one group? I can, I can answer this question, 95%. Is this a balanced media approach? Is it I, a balanced think, media approach when you force should, out or fire no. journalists from the public media in no. this country? We Two, are doing, 220 we are doing, according we are doing, to reporters without we are borders. Doing 220 we are journalists doing only forced, 20% or maybe 25% of, of what our predecessors done. Why were you not asking our predecessors those questions eight years ago or 15 years ago? Why were you happy with post-communism, uh, post-communist governments? I, I, and are you not so happy? I think that we have to all rethink our relationship because we are very much. So in all ter these terms people are wrong. The UN has criticised you. The International Covenant on Civil oh no. and Political uh, Rights. I, now, they criticise you. Now is the surprise you. for you. Inter International Monetary Fund and the World Bank, when I was I'm visiting them for them, a couple of... The international are, Covenant on yeah, Civil and Political they, Rights. They were very much in favor of our Responsible Development Plan because it is bringing social inclusion. It is addressing inequalities. In Poland, we, we were going too much into oligarchic have system. You, have you was this shared, the right direction? Have you not shared by the treaty IMF. body that monitors compliance with your signature on the International Covenant for Civil and Political Rights? No, no, no. We were asking those bodies to come to us, like the Venice uh, Commission. But at We've the same time, we also criticised your moves on the constitutional But at the same court. time, some Deeply significant, critical. significant part of this was implemented. So we we are on the same hinge sheet or very close to each other right now. But why, why not to take into account those huge international institutions like IMF and the World Bank, which were uh, praising us for what we've done in terms of social environment? You, you don't get a lot of praise, Minister for your attitude to, to migrants. The ombudsman, Mr. Bodnar, who you say is politically tainted, spoke in October about 
quite open hatred towards migrants and refugees in public life, harassment, physical attacks, hate crimes towards migrants. Uh, he, he, mu he must be kidding. In and what insufficient he was saying reaction from the public. When I compare what was happening in, in terms of Poland, comparing to Germany or comparing to France in terms of hatred or hate crimes in the U United Kingdom against uh, uh, Poles or, or some other CE um, citizens, this is com a completely different picture. In our situation, we are accommodating hundreds of thousands of refugees from Ukraine, from the war areas of Ukraine in, in eastern part of the Ukraine. You have an organization called Never Again Association, which tracks racist and xenophobic incidents I'm in this country. So, yeah. They say they used to record between five and ten such incidents a week. Now they're recording that many in a single day. Recently, they say we've had problems keeping up with and gathering and registering all the information we get how many, because there is so how much many of, of them, it. And, and do you know how many of them they are recorded in Germany and in France? I, so in I talk to Germany about what happens in Germany. Mm -hmm. Minister, I'm talking to you about yeah, yeah, what happens yeah. in the, Poland. But all is relative. You have uh -huh. to compare. If, 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 if you ask in Brazil, it would be probably daily hundreds or, or thousands. But so your, your there reaction, five, the reaction of your government to what is going on there was to shut down the main body for preventing such incidents. incidents. No. April last year, you closed mm -hmm. the Council for the Prevention of Racial Discrimination, Xenophobia, and related intolerance. You did that without providing another body to take its place. Why? In, if in you're the taking these scheme, in events the, in seriously. the overall scheme of things, we are taking this very seriously because what brings uh, security to the country is, is, is the quality of your police, is the quality of your services, special services, and so on. And, uh, and given all the recent polls, uh, the, uh, uh, the um, level of security in the society increased. People feel more secure, and in Germany, in France, in Italy, people feel less secure. Why is this so? The tens of thousands we've seen marching on the streets of Warsaw to protest one or other of your political yeah, which moves, is, which, they, which they, the, they feel more secure. Which is, which is, which is the sign they of feel democracy. More secure. The, let them it's a sign they feel the democracy rules. is under threat, Three? Minister. No, no, no. no. Uh, uh, here, is, uh, here is again your uh, the le um, not so objective treatment. Three years ago, you know what the demonstrations were on the street of Warsaw? hundreds of thousands of people. You have, not hardly, you have hardly noticed them. Today, there are tens of thousands. You are, you are right, every now and again. I have not seen them, by the way, for the last six months, but maybe there will be another demonstration, which is a sign of democracy working in Poland. The UN minister has also criticized your party's attitude to migrants and expressed concern at what he called statements by state authorities in which they refuse to accept refugees of the Muslim faith. No, we are accepting actually lots of uh, immigrants, predominantly from uh, lots of uh, refugees. I mean, migrant workers is the one thing, but actually uh, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, for, uh, are refugees from, uh, from Ukraine. So but we your believe, party leader in 2015. So we believe that there, Europe has its borders. At the very south, there is a pressure from North Africa. In Greece or in Bulgaria, there is pressure from Middle East. But you don't want Muslims. You specifically we, said we you do don't accept, want Muslims. We do accept lots Mr. of Kaczynski Muslims as well. Mr. Kaczynski says Muslim just, refugees would threaten Poland's security. We, we do accept lots of Muslim, Muslims as well, but not as many as, as, uh, as in Germany, because you are much richer countries, because you didn't have 50 years of communism. So why did the, the Vatican, before the Pope's visit here last year, issue a statement criticizing what it called an artificially created fear of Muslims in Poland? Why did the Vatican feel necessary to talk, to talk to you like that? I don't, I, I don't know. I, I think this is one of the most secure countries. Uh, remember World yeah. Youth Day with Pope the Fra Francis, actually with Va Vatican presence here. Millions of people in Poland and zero accidents, zero crime. This is the proof uh, in the eating of, of even our the security. Pope, even the Pope himself even had to remind you in Krakow. He here. reminded you, a merciful heart opens up to welcome refugees and migrants. Which we are doing, hundreds of thousands, as this I said to, This twice. to a government. Your Prime Minister yeah. said in March last year, I say very clearly that I see no possibility at this time of immigrants coming to Poland. 
And Beate, they are, Beate they are Schiedler. Coming, they are coming in hundreds of thousands. Did she say it or didn't she say it? We have registered 1 million uh, Ukraine, 1.3. Did she say speaking. it or didn't she say it? Uh, well, I, 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 I don't did. know what, in what 23rd, context. 23rd of March, uh, last year. Probably if you're quoting, you're quoting, you're quoting right, but this is in, in the context. And I'm telling you the whole context. The whole context was that over the last 12 months, we've accepted 1.2 million of uh, immigrants. Out of them, our uh, guesstimate is 100 to 200,000 refugees from the war areas. This is our contribution to easing the tensions in Europe, isn't it? Is it? Is it easing, yeah, yeah. Is it easing the tensions to try to introduce tightening of restrictions on abortion? To try and That's a completely different to, topic. To, to, yes, it is. Is, I'm, is I'm, this, yeah, yeah. Is, 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 the, is this part of the European Union remit? It's something that people have expressed concern on. Uh, and and, and, uh, and you've, seen the so. you've seen the demonstration, you had to back what, down. You had and, to back and, and, down and, and, on the and, new and, laws. And look, and look what was the situation. Because of tens of give thousands me, give of me women 20, marching. Give me 20 seconds. Give me 20 seconds. At least. Okay. Uh, the government has not submitted any legislation about this. The parliament and the majority has not submitted any legislation. All what, all what happened was that one quite radical um, uh, NGO has submitted legislation and we have promised before that if there is a legislation based uh, with uh, at least 100,000 of uh, signatures from our citizens, we will gi give it a, a go in the parliament. So we have done this. It was not the project of the government. It was not the project of the parliament. And it wasn't Hence, a project of the government. Either. And we've stepped back. It wasn't, because it wasn't a project of the government to try to limit reporters access inside parliament. Uh, access of, of media. Yes, yes, it was a it was a it was, uh, it was a, a project from the from some part of the majority party, and we have stepped back. We have and, and we to have limit freedom this. of assembly on the streets. You're, no, you're, no, you're, no, no, you've no. You've already not, voted the first absolutely reading. Absolutely no, not. No, no. See, it's another very good example. Thank you for this because it's another very good example of misunderstanding. It's you not seem to the be freedom a very of misunderstood assembly. country. No, 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 Minister. It, it, you're it very is misunderstood. So. It is so. My, Isn't my that invitation, curious? my invitation to you is. Uh, read more newspapers from both sides, not only the liberal media. Really read also the other media. Audiatur et altera pars, as does our Roman friends 2,000 years ago said, which means the freedom to, of, of assembly. It's not limiting, it's the opposite. You know what was the project about? The project yes, was it about was that saying you couldn't have a demonstration. Couldn't you couldn't have two demonstrations. At the same time, I can give you a very good example. The state and the church I can are give also you a very good demonstration. No, 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 not so at they all. Get, not they at get all. If there is a completely they leftist demonstration, if there is a completely leftist demonstration in one place for the last couple of months, we would allow this demonstration to be forever. This was the project to create more security. Do you remember the rest huge of the world demonstrations? Isn't buying this. Do, the rest do you of remember? The world isn't buying this. No, no, the, the at, the least, at, least two, critics, at least two thirds and, of and, the population human, in Poland and, are buying and, this. And, and human rights which is organizations majority. are not buying it. No, no, they are, they, but they, they are, misunderstand they are buying this. as well. No, no, no. Do you remember the demonstrations two and three years ago uh, on the September 11th, which is the Independence Day in, in, in Poland? Uh, there were huge riots on the streets during the times of our uh, of our predecessors. Why was that? Because three or four demonstrations were meeting with each other in one place, and all the uh, changes which we wanted to implement in the in the new legislation on assembly was to separate them. Isn't it? A, isn't it a good move? That's not what the, the your critics say. <laughs> they say, I know, they, I know, they, they say it's you, they, it's you saying who can demonstrate where no, and under what conditions uh, well, and giving the responsibility to central government no. and taking it away from we local are, governments. So let That's me, let me express this very, very loudly. Oh, everybody can demonstrate whatever they want apart from communist and Nazi uh, opinions, okay? Everybody, because this is the country law. Communist and Nazi are crime, murders, we don't allow for, uh, for demonstrations of that kind. Everything else, they can demonstrate wherever they want, provided that they are not clashing with other demonstrations. Minister, you're that's, the, that's, you're, you're, that's a you're logical the, move, the isn't it? Law and Justice Party. Yeah. That's, that's the I'm name. a fresh member of Law yes, and Justice yes, Party. You are fresh, before that, you are, you I was are a fresh member. 25 years in, in the business. I think it was your father who got up in November 2015 and said, law is important, but law is not sacred. Yeah. The good of the nation is above it. 
So sure. you, your Law and Justice Party doesn't accept the primacy of law? No, no, no. I, I, exactly like, like the famous Gen German uh, lawyers, uh, Udi Di Fabio and, and some others, they said that the positivism, positive, positive uh, approach to law has to end, has to stop at some moment because uh, there You're is... You're saying something's more important than the law? Of course. Of course, right. the law is Danger, not most dangerous, important. Dangerous. Life of people, security. Da uh, of dangerous people. road to go down. No, no, well, like, dangerous uh, road I, I don't to want go down. To, I don't want to be going too... Uh, We're too normally radically. told that nobody is above the law and nothing what is was, above the law. What but was, you're putting in abstracts here. No, no, no. no okay, so let me be very concrete. The good of the nation as interpreted by let the me, government... Let me be very concrete. Let me be very precise, not abstract, as it is yours. In Nazi Germany, the law was very much observed. You're but not in Nazi Germany, you're but, but, in democratic but, but I'm, Poland. I'm giving you, I'm giving you a drastic elected, example. With because freely if elected. everything was under the umbrella of law than in the 30s and in the 40s. And this law, and, and this is what the uh, Nazi Germans in the uh, Nuremberg uh, you, you can, courts, you they can. were actually defending. This was law, this was it's, law. I was actually you, you doing everything. You need to compare like with like. Yeah, no, no, you're, you're, you are saying you're not abstract, Nazi abstract. You are saying abstract. This is not abstract. You still this respect the law. Le then. Legal positive, uh, positive. You still is. respect the law. Uh, of course, of course, All we right. respect respect the law. Minister, the law and justice. Law and justice. Not only law. Justice is very important. Your critics are not because convinced. Because during the 25 years of uh, the post transformation, there was very little justice, and the uh, very bad people were hiding behind the law. Exactly what your critics say now, Minister. Thanks yeah. very much. Thank Thank you, you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.